Hello and welcome back. This is Ghost Dimension Flying Solo. Join us as we continue our investigation of the Station Hotel. Coming up on Ghost Dimension. Can you hear that? I can, you know, I can hear like breathing like, ooh. What are you gonna do? Whoa, whoa. Oh my God, that said don't want you. That was in here. Never again do I want to experience that. Let's take a look at what happened last time on Ghost Dimension Flying Solo. Are you banging on the walls or... Are you banging on something? Can you do it again? Can you do that? I can hear that. You know, that sounds like a heartbeat. If not, come towards me, walk towards my energy, my epic aura, and use me as a vessel for your communication. That was what I just heard. No way. I literally just heard that. You know, I'm gonna go and grab a REM pod. I put a REM pod here and see if that goes off. Tell you what, I'm gonna come and stand by here because this is where I'm hearing taps from. We'll set the meter off on the floor down there, love. No, whoa. That was another noise, and let's grab this meter. And it came from behind the bar. Let's hear from our psychic medium in Oklahoma, Para, to hear what she senses could be haunting the Station Hotel. All right, I did a reading for the Station Hotel in Ashton, um, underline. Uh, the first spirit that I came across was actually a spirit of a couple of animals. Um, one is a cat, he's dark gray and has like black stripes along his back and has black stripes on his tail and the little tip of his tail is black and he's got like a chunk missing out of his ear. The other spirit uh, animal I picked up was a dog and he's black, he's got really tall pointy ears and a little like long bushy tail. Um, right then as I was picking up those two animal spirits, I could hear a uh, elderly man uh, shouting down at the hall. He was going, Mabs, Mabs. And I don't know if that's the name of the dog or the cat or somebody's nickname, but he was hollering for them. Um, this place is a very interesting place. The, the, it, the building itself is not really necessarily haunted. It's more like the area, but all of the spirits convene in this location. Um, I picked up lost spirits. I picked up negative spirits, not necessarily like evil, just negative human spirits. They're, they're angry about something, they're lost, or they're just mad at their predicament. Um, I also just heard the word canal, and then maybe, I don't know if there's a canal nearby, but most of the spirits um, are actually leading me outside of the building me building and walking me down the street. So I don't know if there's a canal nearby, but that's the word I just heard. And I also heard the word murder, so I don't know if there's been a murder nearby. It could have, uh, it could, of course it could have, but... Um, in this location, you're going to get a lot of disembodied voices and a lot of EVPs. I'm hearing a lot of voices. There's just a lot of traffic through this location. Um, and the time, the time is important. Um, all of these spirits don't show up at the same time. They, ha they have their particular times at which they come. It's almost like a... I want to say three o'clock, <laughs> three o'clock p.m. Uh, in the day. It's when one in particular spirit shows up. So, good luck with Station Hotel. Paul, wow, mm. what an exciting uh, investigation so far. I have experienced different things happening to me, but personal experiences. I, I just can't believe some of the accounts that I've 
been reported here yeah. have actually happened. Yeah, it's, it's nice when it gets backed up and it actually happens to you because otherwise it's just a story. Yeah. But we've got our own experiences and plus we've caught a few bits on the, uh, on the camera. The, well, on the camera and on the machine. So. so hopefully when we play it back as well, maybe, which we, we'll do when we edit, we'll yeah. catch some fantastic things. Well, this is it. Until you get down to the edit, you don't know what you have caught. You know what you, you've heard and what you've seen with your own eyes. But the camera and, and the audio capture so much more. So, you, I mean, you know from past, you've caught EVPs. We've yeah. had shadows. Who knows what you've got today? It, it, do you know what? It's all leading to be such an exciting investigation, this. Yeah, yeah. And I can't wait to see what else lies in store for us and to see if the spirits, not the ones just behind the bar pole, <laughs> but the, you know, the physical ghostly spirits mm. come out to play. Yeah, I, I think they're trying. I, think I do. You think they're trying? Yeah. Well, do you know what? Should we go and investigate even more? Yeah. Come on, let's do it. Okay, so I'm going to go down into what is called the cellar or the basement. This is what I can see. And as you can see, it's pitch black. Oh my God, I'm just going to leave that door open for a bit of light. But it is pitch black. I'm going to use this camera right now as my eyes and my ears. I'm going to go through here. I've got a rim pod on the floor. And I've got the ovulus here. I'll switch that on. If anything comes near the REM pods, they will go off. If anything comes near the ovulus, maybe it'll communicate with me and tell me oh, a word or something. I just nearly walked into whatever that is. So, general. The ovulus has just said general. Let me just show you what I've got around here before I call out. I'm sure I've got another ovulus. Uh, in here somewhere <clears throat> it's that dark <laughs> it's hard to tell I've got one down there on the floor which is pretty black but it's there <clears throat> so what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna call out and see if I can get any of the spirits that are haunting this place or down here to interact with me maybe they'll um, communicate maybe they won't Hopefully they will. The obelisk is said general. Maybe they'll come out. Now I heard, I heard that. And then there was like a, a shuffle. And then the obelisk said dirt. Well it is dirty down here. Okay so now where this absolutely gorgeous feature piece of a, a fireplace and mirror is. And we have the MF1 EDI meter, REMS, 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 and the Alice box. And the Alice box has just come up with the word symbols. Now in the cellar there are some drums, and there are some symbols near those drums. So it's tentative, I know, it's a bit of a gripper, but you never know. So I'm just going to uh, see what we can get here. Nope. Vicar. Vicar. I'm going to move this over to here. <clears throat> Is there anybody here? I'm looking to talk to either Ian or Kitty. There's the former landlady here called Kitty. Could you make a noise for me? Can you talk to me? Are you here with me now? Am I double? There's two of you? Is there two spirits down here? Jesus Christ. Can you hear that? Tap, tap. Tap, tap, there was tap, tap. As I'm walking away, it's tapping. Can you make a noise for me if you're here? A louder noise. Knock something, bang on something. Give me a good indication that you're here. I want to communicate with you. It speaks to me through this ovulus device. Whoa, 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 okay. 
That was that. That moved, I'm sure it did. I heard it, let me. Whoa. I heard that. That was right behind me. That, I'm telling you now, has to be poltergeist. The lap moved. I can't see it now, let me grab it. Factors, I said factors. Now look, right, let me show you something. It's there. Okay, it's there. Make it move, push it. Come on. That was you that did that a minute ago. Make it move. Whoa! Is that me? No. Make that go off again if that was you. Were you coming towards me to push this barrel over? That was weird. Never experienced anything so close. Just gonna move this over here. Place it in front of that. Because I have a feeling about that corner there. Because apparently that's uh, that's the area that Ian uh, Ian Brady that used to come here. Uh, he sat. He had his usual seat over there, but apparently he's also been spotted over there, and that's an area where there's been cold spots and what have you. So. If we leave a rem over there and if he does come and join us tonight for a pint and hopefully he'll set that off. Oh, what's this? Pennies. Pennies. The Alice box has just come up with the word pennies. Which uh, I'm not sure what that means but pennies. Are you here now? Records. Let me go down here then. Okay, I'm gonna have to just be careful because I physically can't see a thing. Let's see if we can use a bit less light. Listen. I can, and you know I can hear like breathing like ooh. I'm just trying to work out if it's one of these. Oh, I know where this is. It's in the room next door, which is where all the barrels are stored. Let's go and have hide. Night. I said night. Physically can't get in. Okay, I'm gonna go. Oh my god, it's horrible in here. It feels horrible. Oh, it smells, man. Oh, it stinks. It really smells. Oh, this is, I'm not, I'm not being funny. This smells dreadful. Oh man! Trap! It smells like somebody died in here. This is, you know where you can get the smell of rotten beer? But it doesn't smell like that, it smells like somebody died. It smells like rotten flesh. I just can't breathe to be honest. It didn't smell like that earlier. Is anybody in here causing that smell? Can you let me know that you're here? Is there anything that you can do to just let me know that you're here, please? Oh, 
Oh, the rem just went off there for a second. Just in front of the fireplace. Is there somebody there? Please try as hard as you can. Use this device to talk to me if you can. See, I don't think uh, you've got the, the strength or the energy to. Quick. Quick what? What do I need to be quick at? Hmm? What are you going to do? I don't think you've got the, the strength or the energy to do anything. Not even sure if you're here. I think you're pretty weak. I think if this is your, your local pub, <coughs> you, you're hanging out in some shady places really. So I really don't think you've got um, any energy to do anything. Are you here causing that smell? Identify yourself. Tell me who you are and what you are doing. I can't see a bloody thing. I think that's me walking into the rem. Yeah. Oh, why does it smell so bad? Make a noise in here while you're with me. Make a noise. Let me know you are here. That. I heard it at like a, a growl and that's a jerk, the ovulus a jerk. Both steps. Listen. Do that again if that was you, make those footsteps again. Come on. Whoa, whoa! There's no way that was... That had to be human. But I know that there's nobody there. That's where all the equipment is. Hello? No word. Who is that? That's, that's a real big noise. Can you do that again? Is that, was that you who was causing the smell in here? Can you make another noise for me? It's a lovely building, it's a lovely place, maybe it should be threat. Oh now that's interesting. So that's just come up with the word threat after I've just been disrespecting them. Are you threatening me now? What are you going to do? What do you think you can do? You, you feel free to, to do whatever you think you can. I've heard that you can throw objects, well come on throw something at me. So I don't think you can, I, don't, I think you're weak. I think you probably died from alcoholism if you spent your time in here. Well, I think even if you could throw something, you couldn't throw it straight because you'd be that pissed. So come on, back your threat up. What are you going to do? Hello? Metal. It said metal. And something just flew past that. Don't know what it was. Something flew past. See? There you go. So it's like someone's moving furniture. Someone's moving furniture. I'm telling you now.
Is that you that was making that noise? I'm going to have to check with Paul and Rachel. See if that was one of them. Because that was really, really noisy. That was very noisy, actually. Oh, it still smells in here. Do you remember noise like that? Go on, one more. F. Do another noise like that. One more noise. Nothing. See? An empty threat. Minute. That just said minute. It's gone off now, but that just said minute. Person. Minute person. What, are you getting someone to do your dirty work now? Tip. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, you want me to leave you a tip, or... You want me to, uh, you're going to tip something over me? You want me to give you a tip? I'll give you a tip, do something. Let's see what you got. Let's see what you can do. I don't think you can do anything at all. Prove me wrong. Oh, it's gone quiet, but the smell's come back. And I'm getting cobwebs on my ears. Like a, like a, Oh, it's horrible. You know, it feels oppressive in here. It feels dank, dark. It's like these voices, and I feel like I'm not meaning it. Ah! Okay, that was in here. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to make that noise. I'll scream at you. But you took me by surprise. This is completely pitch black. I can't see anything. Jesus. Throw something at me. Come on, I've heard some stories that you're able to do that. I'm waiting. What can you throw? Hmm? Have a look. I think that said eight. It went off the screen very quickly. Tell. Tell what? Are you going to tell on me because I'm bullying your feet? Tell feet. Eight tell feet. Are you eight foot away from me? Come on then. What's the tell? What are you going to tell? Oh, well, that's interesting noises. I'd normally say I'm going to get out of here. Jesus. Right, stop! Stop! Okay, okay. All right, okay. I'm out. I'm not out. Maybe. Oh. I have to put the camera over there because it can't. I need to see what's happening. Oh. I, I'm seeing shadows with my eyes. I know you can't see them on camera. I'm glancing. But I heard something be thrown at me. I could have got out of here and I'm too scared to move, is the honesty. You keep giving me little pieces on here. You've threatened me. Don't want you. Oh my God, that said don't want you. Holy shit. You don't want me what? Oh, that's just taken a twist for me. Don't want you. Hmm. Am I uh, upsetting you? 
you want me to stop you don't want me to keep saying what I'm saying I just want you to try to show me that you're here oh oh man it's like something was touching my leg I'm feeling like I shouldn't be in this room oh no 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 no, 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 that did not happen. Jesus, what? Ah, oh, please. Please don't. I'm sure that that moved. I heard it move. Now. Now. You said now. What are you going to do now? Hey, what are you going to do now? You want me outside? Okay. Do one more thing for me and I will leave. If that was you that threw something at me a minute ago, do it again and I will leave. I'm so frightened of pointing this at my face. Because... Okay. Help! I'm getting out. Fuck off. So sorry. sorry. <laughs> oh. oh, I'm so sorry. That just took me by surprise. Never again do I want to experience that. Go out on a high for me. Throw something. I don't believe in you. Throw something at me. Prove to me that you're here. No. Waste of space, are them. No. Well, bye for now. I really didn't like that. I'm just going to point this camera. Do you know, I, I know I shouldn't be a pussy. And I know I shouldn't be scared. But knowing this poltergeist activity and experiencing it fir first hand. Oh, it took me away. I'm just going to point the camera in there, okay? I'm going to probably leave this uh, thing open. Jesus Christ. Okay, now one more time, please. I challenge you, one more time. i tell you what, you wanted me outside, you got me outside. Do something more for me, one more. I promise you I'm gone. Seriously, show yourself. Come on, one more. Oh, you heard that? No way. You heard that, we must have caught that on the audio. It was, as I was coming out, something was thrown again. Oh, man. The activity in the cellar was immense, and I was truly terrified. What's even more strange is when Paul called out upstairs, the activity appeared to be directing itself at me downstairs. It was now time to swap areas to see if this activity would continue. Okay, so I am now in the cellar and we have three REMs down here and one there. Just going to have a little look over here, I don't know if that's a, a room or no, it's a dead end. 
things out a little bit there. And I think there's one in here. A quick look. And there's a rim there. Oh, I tell you, I wish this camera had smelly on smelly vision. Because that whiffed. There's this, this bit here. And you can see there's a rim just down there as well. So I'm also brought down with me. The ghost radar. So I'm gonna see if that shows me anything down here. Okay, so I'm gonna investigate the claims of a shadow person in this uh, corridor here. Hopefully uh, something will come out. I'll also pop into the toilets as well and see if any of the taps are going off and hopefully we'll get some activity with the taps. Um, that's the female toilets there. It's not much reported to happen there um, but it's mainly concentrated along this corridor and in the male toilets. I've got this device here which will measure ions in the air with the periscope um, periscope, and it'll measure um, ions. If anything comes near it negative, it will go red. If anything is positively happy to be here, or just a nice energy, it'll be green. So it'll be interesting to see if that goes off. I've had it going off in a few locations recently, and I tell you what, when it has gone off, it has been interesting to see that happen because I've been able to follow the energy into the various areas. So what I tend to do with this device is first of all start to walk around like I'm doing now to see, you know, because if there is a shadow figure that comes along here it will light this up and hopefully I'll capture it. So what I'm also going to do as well, I'm going to, what I'm talking to, I'm going to head into the men's toilets and I'm going to see if the taps are running. Let's have a look. We have no taps running. Do we have a bang though? We definitely had a bang, so if you heard that no taps here, I highly doubt that one's going to go off, it's taped up, and I highly, well maybe that one will go off, who knows. One thing is, it'll be interesting if it does go off, because that's one of the claims here. One of the claims is, the taps have been going off. Is there anybody in this cellar with me now? Could you let me know? This is another area that I've heard people have had objects thrown at them. You can uh, throw anything you like within reason, as long as it's not a keg, because that might just do me some rather permanent damage. I don't particularly want that. I'm just trying to see my way down here now. Let's turn that round for a second. Sounds very very dark down here and rather musty. Is there anybody in this area? Uh, bit damp down here. Is there anybody at all that would like to come and let me know? My name's Paul. If there's Ian or Kitty or anybody else here that would like to talk to me and let me know, that would be absolutely fantastic. I'm only here to talk to you and try and find out who you are. So I'll just call out and see if anybody's here. Is anybody here? Can you walk towards me, light my meter and use my energy again? Like I always ask, I'm coming in peace, I'm not here to harm you, but I'd love to be able to communicate with you. And especially if you can come towards this device in my hand, it will give me an indication you are here and it will show me you are here and I'll be able to follow your energy around if you want to walk along or maybe you're scared of coming towards me, I'll be able to sense you with this or detect you. Can you communicate with me? Are you able to give me a noise? You're here. A sign? Please come towards me. My name is Sean. I'm a paranormal investigator. I, I want to communicate with you. Make a noise if you're here. 
Use my energy and make a noise. Or push me, touch me. Do something that you want to do or haven't done to somebody else to interact with me. Come forward and show me you're here. <clears throat> Are you hiding in the female toilets? Are you still here? Tap. Very gentle, t gentle tap. It was like it was on, on here, like a tin noise. <clears throat> this, uh, this device is not going off, but I feel like it's going to be building tonight. And I feel like the energy of this whole day. I think, you know what? I think the long lady's right. I think that there is poltergeist that are situated here. Maybe they're not fully blown, fledged. Jesus Christ. I heard that. We must have picked that up. That was the sound of footsteps, something walking around. That has to be like somebody's upstairs, but there's nobody here. This place, this is what people have reported, is footsteps. Can you do a big, a big footstep for me? If that's you, make a big one for me, a big noise. It's like furniture, furniture being moved. Is it in here as well? Hello? Can you make another noise for me? Anybody? Please try as hard as you can. Very, oh shit! Oh shit! Oh god! So I just oh oh crap! Just let me uh, yeah yeah. One thing I noticed isn't down here. There's, there's not um, there's no cobwebs, but that just felt like I walked into one, and I don't like spiders. <clears throat> but when I came down here before to do a quick baseline on everything, there were no, no cobwebs. It was only a few hours ago. So I've just walked into something, and I hope it wasn't a bloody cobweb. I'm sure it wasn't. And you know what the funny thing was, just as I, I walked into it, the, uh, the ghost radar just lit up. It had about three lights on it. No way, no way. That sounded like ching of glasses. And one thing I can tell you now, the bar's empty. I'll show you. Look. That's a rim. Look, a rim. That rainbow just went off on his own. No way. That's amazing. In the exact same place that the activity is reported, where the shadow comes across. And this device is changing as well, look. It's measuring different readings. But it's only flickering between, you know, points of a, uh, a number there, which I, I can guarantee that's not paranormal. But the REM went off on its own. How mad is that? That REM pod went off. Let me just check with this. This is a Malmeter. I'm just going to see if anything changes. If I go near the, I'll tell you what, I'll point it at it so you can see. If, anything, if I go near this area, is anything going to change? No. You see, what's happened there is because I wasn't in this room the thing has come out of where it was and it's gone into there and set the REM pod off. How mad is that? That was definitely a spirit person. Maybe it was the poltergeist. Maybe it was somebody that used to be a regular here. Maybe they, they communicated that way to me. Hopefully we'll find out. 
Let's see if we can get that to happen again. So I'll tell you what, I'll go back to the bar, I'll point my camera at the bar, reenact the whole thing, and we'll see if it happens again. So okay, if so that was you, can you do it again? Can you set that REM pod off? No. So you can't always predict what's gonna happen. Now it'll be interesting to see if the taps have gone off because we've just had REM pod activity. No. No. So, so far, whatever was here was causing noises and bangs, like furniture being moved, and then the REM pod went beep. You can't write it. Don't go. Stay with me, please. The REM, the REM's going off. There's the REM going off. Hi. Thank you for that. Well, that was brief, but we had something there for a second and we've still got the ghost radar still going a little bit. Could you do that again? I'm gonna go back in this room here because this is where it all started then. Um, back in here, Ghost Radar is still giving me a reading. Is this Ian? Did you used to come down here and change the barrels? There we go. That's absolutely brilliant, thank you. Just come a little bit closer to it. It won't harm you. Just makes a, a nice light show. That's really good. Paul, what an amazing night. I can't believe, I, like I always say, mm. the level of activity. Yeah. It has been. Well, you know what? It's matched up to what she said. Yeah. So, like, for me, down in the cellar, Stuff was being thrown at me. One of the most scariest experiences of my life down there. Um, you know, Rachel experienced stuff as you know down there. Yeah. You've experienced things happening as well. Tell me what yeah. you've experienced, Paul. Um, I went into the toilets. I wanted to to see if I could document these taps being turned on, and uh, it didn't happen. But um, I was getting some knocking on the cubicle. Kept going back to show there's nobody in that cubicle, but you could hear there was knocking. And at one point, it was in response to what I was doing because I was knocking back. Okay. Um, and I took uh, the EDI meter in there and the mel, and nothing for about ten minutes. And then all of a sudden, it Kicked starts. Up. Yeah, it starts going off. There was uh, you know definite EM uh, fluctuations in there. So oh. it was probably building to something. And then the door starts going. So I'm, I'm trying, I'm going between the door and the meters, you know, and as usual, you're chasing it, but uh, it was, it was good, good activity. And you know what I experienced as well, and I like that, well, I was doing an investigation in the corridor, mm. and as I'm there investigating, I'm calling out, I've got the meter in my hand, the text the ions, and then bang, and the REM pod goes off. Yeah. I think, oh, yeah. yeah. You, you the, the REM pods are fantastic, you know, I mean, I'm, it's my personal favourite because it's like an early warning system, you know, and I think the fact that they don't go off every time gives you a little bit more validation into how the, the effective they are, because when they do and there's no reason for it, then it's something. Well, you know what? I can tell you now, Paul, it's my opinion as well as maybe yours, this place, the Station Hotel, is one of the most active pubs so far yeah. that we've been to. Yeah. Not a massive place. <laughs> No, but it's got that feel, hasn't it, as well? And it's haunted. Mm. So, I, you know, I can't wait. One day, we will return. Oh, that'd be nice. Yeah, absolutely. The first drinks on you. Absolutely. <laughs> so, from Ghost Dimension, flying solo. Thank you for watching, and good night.